Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Kwame Safa Mensa, owner and founder of A Day Talk Consulting LLC. And I'm back to talk with you all about the importance of creating norms within your classroom. And I thought about this topic because I'm currently working on a professional development workshop that I'm going to be facilitating for an international school here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And the school has asked me to um, create a workshop around this topic, which I feel is very important for all teachers. Now, as we all know, in the beginning of the school year, we spend those first two, three weeks, sometimes a month, working on creating norms within our classroom community, practicing procedures and protocols and systems that we're going to be employing with our students. We practice these things with our students. That's just a standard thing that we do as educators in the beginning of the school year, whether it's in August or September. Now, norms are important because they serve as the foundation for the culture that you're trying to establish within your classroom. Think of it as your Bible. They're, that's the bedrock of your classroom culture. Now, there are a few tips you should follow when you're trying to create norms. Number one, you want to make sure that you're doing it with your students. It should be a collaborative effort. And this is where we separate rules from norms. With rules, rules are typically already established before the kids come into the school, before they come into your classroom. And they're typically created by the teacher, by the principal, by the administrator. And it doesn't really involve a whole lot of student's voice or student input. But with norms, norms require a collaborative effort between you, the teacher, and the students. Because the two of you are co-creating the type of environment that you want to set for the school year. And what better way to establish those norms than to ask the students themselves? They know what the answers are. Ask them, what do you expect from yourselves this school year? What do you expect from me as a teacher this school year? And let them be the ones to set the tone for how the, how the um, classroom is going to be ran. They have to have input in this situation. So that's number one. Allow for student voice. Let them share what they expect from you as a teacher, but also what they expect from themselves. What, what do they desire from themselves as scholars? Uh, number two, as you're writing these norms, make sure that you're doing it in the affirmative. Keep it positive. So one example is, instead of writing as a norm, um, no, no bad words and no cursing, you should then say, use appropriate language at all times. By doing that, you're not writing it in a negative. You're clearly stating the expectation that you have for students, as opposed to telling them what not to do. Focus on the affirmative. Keep it in affirmative, right? That's two. Um, number three, make sure that when you're creating rules, they're developmentally appropriate for the grade level you teach. So obviously when I said use appropriate language at all times, I wouldn't write it in that manner for a K to two classroom. If it's K to two, instead of saying use appropriate language at all times, I would say something to the effect of use kind words. Say please and thank you. Something very simple that the students in that grade level can understand. And obviously as they get older, the language that you use to create the norms becomes more sophisticated. So you wanna make sure that um, whatever 
language you use, it is developmentally appropriate for the students you teach at the grade level. And then also, keep it simple. Use kid-friendly language. This is not an opportunity for you to show how great of a wordsmith you are. Keep it simple so that they can understand uh, what's going on. Because sometimes when we, you know, use big words or highly sophisticated language to communicate something that's very simple, we lose our students. And they're like, huh? Like, what, like, what are you talking about? What does that mean? Get straight to the point, keep it concise, keep it simple. And then something that is optional, but I highly recommend, and this is just to ensure that students are gonna be in compliance. Have them sign off on all these norms. It could be in the form of a contract. I've done the contract before where we went through all the norms, we created them together, and we had them sign off on them with their names. That's a way to hold not only, and also you should sign as a teacher because you are a part of the classroom community. They have to hold you accountable for teaching them just like you have to hold them accountable for learning from you. It's a, it's a team effort and we all have to be on the same page when it comes to following the norms. Nobody is above the law when it comes to that. Not even the teacher. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so you definitely want to try that. But I would highly encourage you, have your students be a part of the process. Don't just create all the norms by yourself because if you don't, you're not going to get the buy-in from the students. When you allow the students to be a part of the creating process, they are more than likely to comply to the norms because guess what? It's coming out of their mouths. If they're speaking into existence, they're gonna be more inclined to follow whatever norms um, you all create together. So just wanted to share that. Be a team player with the students. Create these norms. Set the type of classroom culture that you wanna have for the school year. It's a very crucial step. If you don't do it, you're going to have a very difficult time building that rapport with your students. Trust me when I say this. I've seen the worst and I've seen the best of it. The most effective teachers have very tight procedures, systems, and norms. They know what to expect from students and they're consistent in enforcing those norms. That's where you want to be with that. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Hopefully that will help you out as you progress through the school year. And um, before I sign off, I got to shout out my um, Temple University sister, uh, Shauna Brown. Uh, she has a line called Teach for the Culture. This is one of the shirts that are part of that line, and it is growing. It is growing. So, you know, Connecticut is in the building. To use in the building, you want to cop a shirt from her, you can reach out to her on um, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter with the handle Teach for the Culture, and you'll see some of these shirts. And they're going to be more coming up soon, trust. Um, she's already assured me of that, and I plan on getting a whole collection. But I uh, just want to shout out my sisters in education. Uh, Shauna, so let's keep building y'all, keep working with your students, and we will see you another time. Enjoy your day. Mm -hmm.